This is video 7 in how to create digital art using ArtRage 2.5. In this video, we're going to talk about tracing. So click on it. Choose a picture you want to trace. And it comes into your window underneath your canvas. If you'll notice, nothing here is in the layer. Now, it doesn't really fill up the canvas as we can see if we go down. So I can do File, New Painting. Say I don't want to save it. Click No. I can then go into Preset and say I want it to be more portrait. I'll click this. Click OK. And I have a portrait size. Now I can go back into Tracing click on my woman again, and she'll come up. She doesn't necessarily fill the entire canvas. So I can go into Tracing. I can edit the tracing image. And I can choose whether I want it to show up less or more in the dial. I can load a different tracing image, or I can click on Scale. And I can manually scale it. I can tile it. I can stretch image to fill, and right now it's fit image inside, or let image overlap. And we'll go through them. Let's stretch image to fill right now. And she stretched to fill the entire canvas. That was pretty easy, right? Now if we do scale and tile image to fill, you'll see that it's not exactly what we want. Scale. We can do manual scale, and I happen to like it, stretch image to feel. Now we can click done, and we're back in our window. Now if you click tracing again, and you'll see that choose colors from tracing image. Now what happens is, when I click on a paintbrush and go to paint, it's picking up the colors from the actual picture. Pretty cool, huh? This is neat when you want to, you know, just kind of block in your colors. It's a fast way of doing it. And if we go into Don't Show It, meaning unclick it, you'll see that it doesn't look like much. If we bring back the tracing image, it's back again. Now another neat thing you can do is convert tracing image to paint on this layer. And you'll now see the picture has been put into your canvas. If you have a picture of, say, your cat, your dog, or something, this might be an easy way to bring it in and then take your palette knife and just kind of smoosh it around a little bit and make it more artistic. This is why this is particularly good for people learning how to paint because they can bring it in and look closely at the way the painter has painted the picture. Now that's pretty much what all there is except for clear tracing image. You get rid of it. So tracing is good for blocking in your colors, for making a painting go faster. Not necessarily that you want to absolutely do it like the picture is, but that you want to give it a more artistic flair. And the next video will be adding reference pictures to your window.